Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy. And I'm sitting here in a 2016 Volkswagen Golf R, um, which I'm actually going to rant about later. Uh, the big news about it is that you can finally get a six-speed manual transmission. Um, last year when Volkswagen redid the Golf R, it was initially only available with their automated manual. Uh, which is by no means a bad box, um, but um, a lot of people, me included, prefer being able to shift for ourselves, even if the car is slightly less quick with um, the manual than it is with the automated manual. Alrighty then, but the thing that I want to call your attention to is my V1 radar detector, which as you can see is shrieking like a uh, proverbial banshee. It, it's detecting 3K signals uh, ahead of me and to the side and, and uh, going nuts, and you'd think I'm parked in a cop parking lot somewhere with cops all over the place, but in fact, uh, I'm just parked in my driveway out here in the woods, and there probably isn't a cop car within five miles of me at this moment. Um, and the reason that it should be, it's beeping the way that it is is because of the car's uh, own radar signature, um, whether it's for the, uh, the blind spot assist, uh, the park assist, the lane keep assist, or whatever it is, and this car has all those systems. Um, it can't uh, uh, delete out uh, the, uh, the false flag signals, unfortunately, that are being generated by the car. This is a problem with all radar detectors currently on the market, unfortunately, and it's not the detector's fault because, after all, the car is producing radar signal. So um, it's, a, it's an annoying side effect of this bum's rush uh, to all these safety systems that I'm constantly ranting about on the site uh, that are basically a form of inattentive driver, uh, idiot proofing. Uh, you know, if you can't park a car without beeping and, and without electronic assists, and you know, if you're wandering across the double yellow, probably you should be a passenger and not a driver, and that's just my opinion, and I know I'm a harsh, politically incorrect dude for saying it, but uh, so be it, and so it is. Anyway, um, I'm going to hopefully talk to Mike Valentine about what can be done to uh, tune out these false flag signals because it's a real drag. It makes it uh, makes the radar detector much less effective because you don't want to listen to the constant beeping and light show. So your inclination is to just turn down the sound uh, so you don't have to listen to it. And then you know your only cue is visual. Um, and when it comes to cop radar, you know time is critical. You really want to be able to jam on the brakes as, as rapidly as possible uh, at the first sign of torque. Um, and if you've got your audio turned down, it's harder to do that. Uh, plus, it's, it's easier to, uh, to, to not notice uh, the real uh, threat when these constant false flag little warnings are coming up at you. Anyway, um, that's all I've got for the moment, and there'll be more up at the website, epautos.com. And thanks for viewing, and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.